Cabela's Extreme Whitetail Parka. Uh, you can see I'm wearing it right now. I got the hood up. Um, just want to talk about some of the features on it. The hood is very nice. I like that it's not really a big full floppy hood. So it just covers things just enough so that in the rain you can uh, eliminate any rain or snow falling on you. But when you take this thing off, it's not a real big thing, which means I can hear a little better, whether it's up or down. There's some nice insulation up on the jacket up above here. So that keeps it warm around your neck. If you decide you could zip this way, way up. Got some nice Velcro here on the sleeves. Uh, I tend to keep this open so I can fit my gloves underneath it. Uh, I like the uh, the cell phone pockets here on the chest. There's one on this side. There's also one on this side. So if you're somebody who likes to use a map or something else, this would come in handy also. There's a big pocket down here. I mean, you can have some rattling horns in here. You can have your grunt call in here. So all of these pockets are very big. Got another one also on this side. So both are a right and left side. So this pocket's pretty nice size. I've got a small binoculars in here. I got a grunt call in here. I got a few odds and ends in here for the hunt. And the flap fills it up over the top. So if it's raining out, it kind of keeps things dry. Uh, behind these pockets, further in the back here, you have some deeper pockets too, which fit in. And those are pretty nice. Those are really deep. They've got some, uh, like a little bit of lining to them also, so they keep your hands warm. I mean, there's plenty of room in here. I got my gloves in here if I need them. Got my release on. That fits in here pretty easily. No problems with that. So nice deep pockets in here. Or if you want to hold your hands way up high here, here's another pocket way up high. To me, that's kind of awkward and uncomfortable, but it's not too bad up there. Yeah, you've got some inner pockets on it too. On the inside, there's some nice lining on this also. Again, it's not fleece, but it stays pretty warm. The jacket itself is Gore-Tex, so it's uh, really stays nice and dry, completely dry. Um, no problems with that. It uh, is fairly quiet, not as quiet as let's say uh, like maybe some cotton, but it's still quiet enough where you're not going to hear too much rustling. The only place where you hear it is like in your arms a little bit. I'll be quiet so you can hear that. So I think they have some extra insulation in the arms and that little flapping noise is a little irritating to me. That's the one thing I don't like about the jacket. There's also in the back a, uh, a harness slot here in the back. So that, that hooks up right to the harness. You don't have to feed it through your hood. There's actually a hole in the back of the jacket for the harness. The new uh, Octane camo looks pretty good. In most situations, I, I'm a fan of the real tree stuff. I ha I've had that for years, but the O2 stuff, uh, especially if you're walking through the brush, or maybe you're hunting a ground blind or something, it's got some pretty good hiding uh, tendencies. And here in this pine tree, you can see, you know, if you look at me on the pine tree here, it's it's uh, it's blends in fairly well. Okay, I give the jacket four out of five stars. It's uh, waterproof breathable uh, it's pretty warm uh, it's reasonably quiet but it does have some crinkling noise in it that's where you lose one star on it uh, it's got good pockets nice storage pretty good movement for two hundred dollars it should uh, serve me for a long time in late season and be a pretty good jacket thanks for watching